Let's see, Leo in a nutshell. Leo, that's me, your boy. July 26th, all day. Um, Leos, man, we're very misunderstood. You know, people mistake our confidence for arrogance. People mistake our kindness for weakness. And we're just very misunderstood because of our mood swings and how vain we can be sometimes. What you got to understand about Leo is we're very selfless. We're not selfish at all. You know what I'm saying? We give our everything to others. That could be people we put on pedestals. That could be our kids. That can be our family. We go hard because it ain't about us. That's why we drive ourselves to the ground doing stuff for other people because in our eyes, that's what a person is supposed to be. That's how a human being is supposed to be selfless. And thinking about others at all times. We're very self-conscious. Which means you'll never see a Leo just walk out looking like anything. You know what I mean? We gotta be fresh at all times. Because we don't know who looking at you. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, booger on those or something like that. You know what I mean? So we stay, you know, brushing ourselves off. You know, flicking stuff off the gear. You know what I mean? Because we, we feel like we are stars. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're the sun. You know what I mean? Everything revolves around us. And we have to shine like the most important star in the sky, at least in our solar system, which is the sun. So, we do feel like we got paparazzi watching us, even though we regular people. That's just, that's not delusion. That's not uh, cockiness, arrogance at all. It's just, we know we're the shit and we bring things to the table. Also, what you got to understand about Leo, we go hard in everything we do. Everything that we do, but it's got to be something that we want. We'll work hard for things that we want. Things that we don't really need, we take it by the wayside. Um, we're not possessive, but we're very territorial, and that comes with our lion like nature. And um, the best qualities of a Leo is that we're very loyal. You know, we don't want to trap nobody we don't want to keep you from whatever makes you do you we just want to we just like looking at you we just like a good attractive face to look at while we do what we do in life you know what i'm saying we're not trying to change nobody we don't put limits on nobody because we want nobody doing that to us we treat people how we like to be treated but what we under but what we go through is that our standards are too high as leos and we put people on pedestals we put people on pedestals who don't even deserve to be on pedestals. That's why we end up choosing the wrong friends, the wrong lovers. You know, we, we choose to be around the wrong people because of the need to want these people so bad. We're not, like I said, we're not trying to change these people. It's just that we put all our faith into people and they let us down all the time because of the pedestal effect that we give people. But we're natural born leaders, you know. Very territorial. If anything comes up missing in our, our space, we gonna know it's missing. You can't dupe a Leo because we're constantly overthinking. We overthink too. And we can be we can be a little melodramatic. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna lie. But it might seem like like okay, it might seem like I'm bitching sometimes about things, but I'm not complaining. You know, this is how I tell stories. Leo's we, we love telling stories. We love getting people you know what I'm saying? In our mix. You know what I mean? Not that we're forcing our lifestyle and stuff upon you, but it's just like, come on, check me out. You know what I mean? There ain't, ain't a person around here that's like me. You know what I'm saying? And you need to get on my team and, and, and see what I bring to the table. As far as like sex, hands down, son, Leo's running, cuz. Because at the end of the day, you ain't never going to have nobody say nothing bad about no Leo when it comes to the sheets. We're going to handle our business. Not only we going to handle our business, cuz. We're going to go hard. We're going to damn near try to kill your ass. You know what I'm saying? Because it's about that first impression. And Leos always make that first impression. That's what we're about. All fire signs make that good first impression. But Leos will go to the 10th degree to get our presence felt. When we step in the room, we size everybody up. You know what I'm saying? Like, when we go to our first day on the job, we sizing you up. You don't know we sizing you up. When Leo step in the party, we sizing you up. We looking at every nigga in there like, all right. I right, ain't nobody fucking with me up in here. Cool. We looking at all the chicks like, uh, yeah, her. Yeah, that's the one I want right there. You know what I'm talking about? And what we want it, we go get it. By all means. You know what I'm saying? We're so go 
getters. But on the negative side, we can just be a little melodramatic. You know what I'm saying? We can kind of be wishy-washy. You know what I'm saying? Our emotions be like this. We don't know how to control our emotions because we're very emotional. You know what I'm saying? We put out this hard exterior like everything is cool, but in the inside, we be going through it because we're little teddy bears. You know what I'm saying? But it's just a little brief synopsis on Leo. You know what I'm saying? Let me get back to y'all in a second. All right, Sagittarius in a nutshell. Um, Sagittarius are the survivors of the Zodiac. It's hard to kill a Sag, first of all. They literally shoot them in the head. You can literally keep them down as long as possible, but they always will prevail because they use the power of luck and um, they know how to gamble with life. That's their best quality. But there's only one good positive thing about Sads and one negative thing about a Sads. Positive thing about a Sads is anything they put their mind to, they'll achieve. And they achieve it so quick that, you know... They suffer from like boredom. They suffer from like, like if, if 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 you put your heart to things that you want to accomplish and you accomplish it so easy, it kind of makes it hard for you to try to figure out what your next plan is or or or, or try to figure out how you can grow to a whole another level when you've dominated the level that you're on. They they dominate every level of existence. So I got to give it to the sides. They are the go getters of the whole zodiac. Um, you gotta understand about Sagittarius is, is they're very unemotional. You know, they don't deal with feelings, they don't deal with emotions. It's like, eh, grow up. You know what I mean? I I went through everything. I went through hell and back to get where I'm at in life. You could do the same thing. I don't want to hear that I can't shit. I don't want to hear no excuses. The worst thing you could do to a Sagittarius is come at them with some excuses or, or a sob story. You know what I'm saying? They gonna shake you off quick. You know what I mean? They don't even want to deal with people like that. You got to have a go get it mentality. Or you got to have something to bring to the table. Or you got to be just interesting enough for you to be in their presence. You know what I'm saying? They're represented by the centaur, which is half man, half horse. And, or Cupid is a good representation of Sagittarius. They're the, the romantic side of the zodiac, but they don't do relationships too well. You know what I mean? If you want to be with a Sag, you got to give them their space. You got to give them their independence. And you can never try to trap them or put them in no box because they're going to buck at all times. You can never keep tabs on no Sag. That's the ultimate disrespect is to come at a Sag like, like, where you been at? Where you going? Why you ain't pick up my phone? Ooh, like, they'll just look at you crazy and be like, well, fuck, go get a life. Don't be all in minds like that because I ain't in yours like that. They need to be in a relationship, but they like their freedom. And they the players, you know what I'm saying? They will creep out on you real quick. And they can manipulate anybody to get where they want in life, you know what I'm saying? It's all about, it's business, never personal. If you could sum up a, a sad in, in, in a sentence, it would be it's business, not personal. You know what I'm saying? Um, they can be very passionate, like Leo's and, and Aries, you know what I'm saying? That's just the fire inside them. They're very passionate. But they can be very cold and cruel also. You know what I mean? They don't feed off attention. If, 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 if you got something bad to say about them, it'll just roll off of them. But they do got a tongue on them. They got a sharp tongue. And it might seem like they bogus when they talk to you. It might seem like they're unemotional when they say things to you. It might seem like they can never be positive at all. But it's just, they don't sugarcoat shit. You know, a Sag will... Use their words to cut you down in size to really peel back the real person that you are. And they can see the person that you are. A Saz can see right through you. You know what I'm saying? A Saz also got hunches. 95% of a Saz hunch is correct. You know what I'm saying? They make great detectives. They make they can figure out a big picture real fast. You know what I'm saying? And they're very spiritual. They're very spiritual. And they really have faith in things and can really execute their faith. And they really understand luck in a way that no other person understands luck and they know they can understand luck which is why they gamble with life to the max and why most things that they uh, uh put their mind to fall through but um sexually these are like your trisexuals you know what i'm saying they really have no 
limits when it comes to sex and 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 and, and being in the bedroom and all that. You know what I'm saying? They'll pretty much try anything. You know what I mean? They are the yeah we'll fucking in a whip, we fucking outside type people. They're real outdoorsy. You know what I'm saying? They're real athletic, real um compatible, male and female sages, but um like I said, in a nutshell, sages just want trust at the end of the day. And be who you say you are. They don't like posers. They don't like fakers. They don't like liars. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're lying, that's just a whole nother level of BS that they don't even want to deal with. But, sages also are the type of people who create rules but don't follow them. They're rebels without a cause, for real, for real. They don't believe in standards. They don't believe in boxes you could put anybody in. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're just free thinkers. They're a whole other breed of person. And by them being the person that they are, they can fit in any environment. They can fit in any climate. They can deal with any kind of people. It don't matter what kind of what kind of person you are, Saz will mess with you. You know what I'm saying? As long as you keep it funky with them, and they keep it funky with you, because they're going to keep it 1,000. They're going to keep it to 100. You might, might wish a Saz can sugarcoat something for you. You might want to wish they could be a little less direct when they talk to you or people or, or do things in life, but that's just how they feel. At the end of the day, you know what I mean? They're going to they, they gonna keep it real. Sadz just keep it real. And I love Sadz. You know what I'm saying? Saddles and Leos, matter of fact, understand each other more than any people in the Zodiac sign. You know what I'm saying? The best matches, but fire and fire can clash. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and turn into problems. But nobody will understand a Sag like a Leo will. And no one will under, understand a Leo like a Sag can. And that's real. But, yeah. Alright, Aries in a nutshell. <clears throat> Aries are like... The giddy, energetic, turned up, always into something people of the Zodiac. You know, they're very money orientated. It's about that bread. At the end of the day, if it ain't about the money, it ain't about shit. That's the best way to sum up uh, Aries. Also, they're super laid back. You know, they're cool. All Aries are cool. You know what I mean? They're a little crazy. Not Scorpio crazy, but crazy as far as the things that drive them. You know, they are stubborn, of course, uh, bullheaded a little bit. Um, they're rebels, without causes also, but um, they're just, like I say, money motivated, business orientated. And they're very independent. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, uh, Aries don't want nobody to say that they did something for them. At the end of the day, they don't want that on their heart. You know what I mean? For you to tell uh, Aries that if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be who you are. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have this. That's the worst thing Aries could ever go through. Because they hate help. Even if they need help, they won't even ask for help. And they will go get anything that they need because they go getters also but like I said the difference between them and like a sad is just they're more money and business orientated and it's all about status to them it's all about luxury to them it's all about having things with them they're not um what's the word you want to call it materialistic they just need materials to validate their own personality which is a big personality that they do have you know what I'm saying? When I say they're giddy, they just like, they're just energetic. You ain't never going to meet like an Aries who like too laid back, too chill. You know? Like they're always going to be moving around, always in the car, going somewhere, always doing something, always in traffic, always into something. They got to be into something. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it's too much energy. They have too much energy and they don't like wasting their energy on BS. They don't like wasting their energy on something that's not going to pay off. They're not going to waste their energy on a long term thing that ain't going to fall through. They're short term, but they're also long term because of the money 
motivated, orientated mind state that they always have. But Aries are magnificent leaders. Great manipulators, great orientators, you know what I'm saying? Like the the greatest orient like like motivational speaking people are like Aries, you know what I'm saying? They can get a whole crowd of people on their team, you know what I'm saying? They can micromanage and manage teams within teams, you know what I'm saying? They always have the right words to say to get things. They're very faithful also. They put faith in things and they always come to pass because of that go get it attitude. So like Aries in a nutshell is motivation, having the energy to go get things and getting it. And not just getting one thing, but getting everything that you want, everything that you ask for. You know what I'm saying? They don't stop. Just like Leo's, Aries don't know what more is. So soon they get more, they want some more. They want more. You know what I mean? Like they really have a addictive personality. I'm not speaking as far as drugs per se, but they have an addictive personality. You know what I'm saying? Making money could be a drug to them. Working can be a drug to them. You know what I'm saying? Like building a life for somebody can be a drug to them. You know what I mean? And they don't stop. They have insomnia. They they're up all night. Like they they restless. They giddy. They feet be tapping. You know what I mean? Leg be shaking. You know what I mean? It's almost like they just eager, eager beavers. You know what I'm saying? To get out on the world and go get something and go make something. You know what I'm saying? And they always give back to the people that they fuck with. They don't mess with just anybody. So if you are a friend of Aries, they got you. You know what I mean? They got you. They got your peoples. They'll make sure you don't want for nothing as long as you're on the good side with them. But you get on the bad side with the Aries, it's over with. You know what I mean? They'll go from here to here real quick on you. They'll act like they don't even know who you is or forgot about you. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, anything Aries put their heart to, they attain. Because of the go get it mentality that they have and the way that they go about getting things. You know what I'm saying? Aries are the master finesses. They will finesse you out so close in a winter. You know what I'm saying? Like they will sell a whale some water. You know what I'm saying? And got that gift of gab to, you know what I mean? Just like Sadness. Sadness got that gift of gab too. But Aries has got that gift of gab to just get you right now. You know what I mean? They're very impatient. They don't like waiting for nothing. You know what I'm saying? They hate waiting. It's the worst thing you can do to Aries is have this person waiting on you. You know what I mean? To get something done that could have been done. They don't push nothing off to tomorrow. They do it today. You know what I'm saying? So, in a nutshell, sexually also, just like Leo's and Sagittarius, they're going to go hard. You know what I'm saying? They're going to give you that one lasting impression. Then they'll try to kill your ass. You know what I'm saying? In the sheets to make their impression felt. It's a fire thing. It's a sun thing. But with them, they, they, they're they giddy. Very giddy. The best way to describe an Aries, giddy. You know what I mean? Giddy and getting it. Them fire signs in a nutshell though. You know what I'm saying?